Hello and welcome to this series of instructional videos for the third year analytical chem labs. I'm Dr. Robin Studley and this video will be about the instrumental setup for fluorimetry. In this experiment you will use multiple instruments. The instrument that we will focus on is the ocean optic spectrometer. This spectrometer is modular. It can be used to take absorbance and fluorescence measurements. Depending on which is being measured, the configuration of the parts varies. This is the instrumental setup when the ocean optics is used to measure transmittance or absorbance. In this configuration, the path in which the light travels is straight. The light source is a deuterium lamp. The light beam moves through the fiber optic cable to the attenuator. The attenuator reduces the intensity of the light passing through the fiber optic cable. This is achieved through rotating the disc that is inside the attenuator and thus changing the gap in the plastic. The attenuator is used to reduce the intensity of light to ensure it does not overload the detector. From the attenuator, the light continues through the fiber optic cable to a collimating lens, which bends the light into parallel beams before it passes through the cell. The cell will contain a cuvette filled with solution. The transmitted light is then carried to the spectrometer using a fiber optic cable. This is what the inside of the spectrometer looks like. The light beam enters the spectrometer through a slit. The light beam makes its way to the collimating mirror where it is made into parallel beams. The grating disperses the light beam into component wavelengths and directs it onto a mirror. The dispersed light is reflected over to the detector. The detector is a charge coupled device or CCD. It's comprised of multiple photodiodes that are arranged in a long strip. The detector collects the light and converts the optical signal into a digital electronic signal. This configuration is used to collect a reference spectrum that will later be used to correct the measured fluorescence signal. The light source used for this is a tungsten halogen lamp. The light beam travels through the fiber optic cable reaches the attenuator, and then the cell. A glass plate placed at a 45 degree angle redirects a small fraction of the light beam perpendicular to its original pathway. The light beam passes through a collimating lens, through another fiber optic cable, and into the spectrometer where it's detected. Now when measuring fluorescence emission, a different instrumental setup is used. In this configuration, it is clearly seen that the emitted light is collected and measured perpendicular to its original direction to reduce the amount of scattered light being detected. The light source is a xenon flash lamp that pulses on and off, and a signal is only collected when the lamp is on. The light beam passes through a bandpass filter and into the cell. The bandpass filter is a piece of colored glass that only permits particular wavelengths to pass through. For our analyte, the bandpass wavelengths are in the violet region of the spectrum, which can be seen when we hold the filter up against a light. As the light enters the cell, it encounters a cuvette filled with solution. The sample solution may absorb the light and sample molecules become electronically excited. As a molecule relaxes back down to the ground state, it may emit a photon. Only a few of the photons that are emitted enter the fiber optic cable, since fluorescence occurs randomly in all directions. Most don't reach the fiber optic cable and are lost. Mirror plugs are used to increase the signal to noise ratio by reflecting some emitted photons over to the fiber optic cable and by blocking outside light from entering the cell. Once in the fiber optic cable, the light beam travels towards the spectrometer where it is detected. Next, we'll take a look at the Agilent Carry Eclipse Fluorimeter. This is essentially a permanent setup of the fluorescence configuration of the ocean optics instrument. Once again, the light source is a xenon flash lamp. The Eclipse Fluorimeter differs from the ocean optics by the fact that there are two monochromators used. There's one before the sample and one after. The monochromator before the sample selects which wavelengths illuminate the sample while the monochromator after the sample selects which wavelengths are detected. 
Selection of the wavelength in both cases is achieved through bouncing the light beam onto the grating and reflecting the selected wavelength out of the monochromator. The photomultiplier tube used here is more sensitive than the diode array used in the ocean optics. You will also use the Agilent Carry 5000 double beam UV Biz spectrophotometer. Our video about Experiment 4 describes a similar double beam instrument. The only difference is that the Carry 5000 uses a chopper. Please watch that video for the instrument principles. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you have any questions, please direct them to me or your TA. And thanks for watching.